Hi everyone, welcome to Learn IT with Venkat. This is Dr. Venkat Asen. Today's video we are going to see about an interesting topic how to backup your Cisco router IOS image into the DFTP server. Here I am going to demonstrate this process by using the Cisco Packet Tracer. The same process, same commands, you can use it in the real devices also. So before uh, I go into that process, I would like to explain the process of IOS boot up when you start your router. So the router is having ROM, read only memory, RAM, random access memory, which is your main memory to execute your commands and uh, followed by a flash memory and NVRAM. Okay. Once you start up your router, it will do this process. So first step, it will do post method. Post is nothing but power on self test. Once it gets success, it will go to the bootstrap mode. In the bootstrap mode, it mainly looks and locates and load your IOS. Most probably your IOS locate in your flash memory or it could search it in the TFTP server. Now in this video, we are going to see if, if something happened to your router IOS, then how come I will backup that IOS from the TFTP server. So it is a very basic and compulsory job. You have to backup your router IOS into your TFTP server. Then only if your flash memory or flash get corrupted or your OS get corrupted, then you could have an alternate secondary file. You could restore that back into your router device. Okay. IOS is nothing but internet work operating system, which is an operating system needed for your router. Okay. So for that, I am in need of one server here and uh, one router here very simple topology to demonstrate so this is my router and this is my server and uh, i'm going to decide the ip address so this is 192.168.1.10 slash 24 and uh, this i'm going to give 192.168.1.1 slash 24 as my router ip address and i'm going to connect this server with the router so as of now i didn't configure anything so first i am going to configure the server desktop ip config so 192.168.1.10 i have decided and this is class c so 255.255.255.0 and uh, the gateway 192.168.1.1 which is your router ip address and the same server is going to act as a dns server so 1.10 and if you go to the service tab and here you could find the TFTP service. So here you could find so many image files. Okay, already it is having with some preloaded image files. Okay, now I will tell you how to backup and how to restore also. Okay, so go to your router and click CLI mode. And first I have to do some basic configuration. So first initial configuration no enable and uh, config terminal suppose if i am assigning host name as gateway and line console password as cisco and uh, login okay exit and the interface fa0 slash 0 because your server connected with your interface 0 slash 0 so ip address 192.168.1.1 255.255.255.0 and give no shutdown command. So once you have given no shutdown command, your port up. Okay. Now I am going to take the backup. Here I have done some simple configuration also, and I have assigned the IP address. Okay. Suppose end wr copy your running configuration to your startup configuration. Now where is my flash memory? Or where is my IOS stored in my router? So for that, so give the command called flash give enter. So once you give enter, you could see here dot bin. So this is your IOS file in your flash memory in your router. Okay. This file I am going to take a backup in my server. Okay. So right click, copy this file name, and here I am going to copy this file. So copy flash space tftp give enter so it will ask you first what is your source file name which you want to copy it to the tftp so for that i am going to paste my 
file name which I copied in my router iOS file. So give enter. And next step, it is asking our remote host from which server or remote host you are going to copy this file. So my remote host is my server. So 192.168.1.10 is my server IP. And it will ask again, last it will ask what is the file name you want to copy, whether you want to copy it in the same file name or you want to give different file name. So I want to give different file name if I want to, or you can give same file name also. So iOS dot bin and give enter and it will write, it will start writing and you will get an exc exclamatory symbol which means ok all the files copied into your D uh, TFTP server. TFTP is nothing but trivial file transfer protocol which is a very lightweight protocol used for your backup purpose and let me check with my TFTP server, go to services and uh, TFTP and check here, yes here my iOS bin file copied ok. So now I am going to delete this flash file then only I can uh, demonstrate you how to backup that. So next step I am going to delete it. So for that uh, delete flash and it will ask you which file you want to delete. So paste your OIS file this is your iOS file. If you delete this file you can't go into your router ok. So don't purposely do it this is only for or uh, demonstrate purpose ok don't delete uh, it in the real devices ok so click enter and it will ask you the confirmation and click enter now the file deleted how I can check it so give the command called reload once you give the reload command your router will not boot it check confirm yes see once I have given confirm your router will not booted here. Why? See boot process failed because your router is not having your iOS file. If you are not having your iOS file then obviously your router will not get boot up. So unable to boot up automatically. So you have to tell the router where is that recovery process which machine I have to approach it to take my iOS. So automatically it comes under that Roman which is Roman I one which is nothing but read only memory monitor ROM monitor first command so first command I have to give it TFTP download DNLD DNLD stands for download so I am going for the recovery process download my iOS from my TFTP server so TFTP DNLD for download give enter and here you could see some information the following variables are required here must ok to set up your download process. So you have to initialize this. So IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, TFTP server and TFTP file ok. IP address nothing but this router's IP address which you want to give it. This the IP address of IP address for this unit ok. So just copy this and paste it. So equal to what is the IP address you want to give it to this router 192.168.1.1 which you have already assigned but that lost ok. Now I am going to reassign it and uh, what is the subnet mask copy and uh, paste equal to 255.255.255.0 is my subnet mask and third is your gateway just copy paste. So what is my gateway? This router is going to act my act as my gateway. So 192.168.1.1 is my gateway and uh, what is your TFTP server? This is what most important. So my server IP is 192.168.1.10 and uh, in your server which file you want to take up? TFTP file, your backup file. So what is our backup file? iOS.bin is our backup file. So give enter. That's it. Now you have to check whether all these initialization updated in your TFTP download or not. So TFTP DN LD just give enter. Yes, it has been updated here and uh, here it will give you the message invoke this command for any disaster recovery only. So as insisted don't do all this kind of process purposely. Ok, this is for your practice you have to know it so better you can practice this in the uh, Cisco packet tracer ok. Because if you do it in the real device sometimes if there is any problem your actual file will not be recovered ok. 
and do you wish to continue yes so click y and give enter then it will take some time and it will hit your server and take backup of your ios so see all flash location reinitialized so how i can check it and how i can go into my router in a normal way how i can make my router to boot it again so give the command called reset give enter now you can see your router start booting up now your router starts booting up which means it is loading your ios flash which you recovered from your tftp server just give enter see it store restored whatever i have configured before uh, that disaster that everything recovered from my tftp server because we pre configured that we in the beginning we configured console password cisco and uh, see uh, what we have configured uh, the router's host name gateway so everything restored back into your router so enable give so flash now you could see the file name here is ios.bin which you have restored not uh, the actual file c2800 that file will not be available only this file is available because this is the one which you recovered from your tftp server so this file only recovered from the loaded in your router i want to run so running configuration here you could see ip address see ip address and and followed by see we have configured before cisco so like this for demonstration i have configured only little bit suppose if you have done so many uh, configuration in your router if something would happen then you have to do this kind of backup in a periodic way then only your configuration of your router will not lost even if any unwanted things happened okay so you have to do a backup in your tftp server then only you, you can automatically or you can do a uh, recovery procedure okay hope you all understand thanks for watching this video subscribe the channel and share with your friends if you like this video like click like button bye bye see you in next video